Apara Ekadashi is very significant for any sadhaka who sincerely desires to advance in Krishna consciousness. When the eldest son of Pandu, Maharaj Yudhishthir, asked about its significance, Lord Shri Krishna replied, O king, your inquiry is wonderful because the answer will benefit the entire human society. This Ekadashi is so sublime and meritorious that even the greatest sins can be erased by its purity. The name of this unlimitedly meritorious Ekadashi is Apara Ekadashi. Whoever fasts on this day from grains and beans and the objects of sense gratification becomes famous all over the universe. Even the great sins such as killing a Brahmana, a cow or an embryo, blasphemy or having physical relationship with another man's wife are completely eradicated just by sincerely observing this Apara Ekadashi. As per the scriptures, people who bear false witness are the most sinful. A person who falsely or sarcastically glorifies another, one who cheats while weighing something on a scale, one who fails to execute the duties of his Varnashram, for example, an unqualified man posing himself as a Brahmin, or a person reciting the Vedas wrongfully, one who invents his own scriptures, one who cheats others, one who is an imposter astrologer, a cheating accountant, or a false Ayurvedic doctor. All these are surely as bad as persons who bear false witness, and they are all destined for hellish punishments. But simply by observing Apara Ekadashi, all such sinners become completely free of their sinful reactions. That disciple is the greatest sinner who, after receiving a proper spiritual education from his spiritual master or guru, turns around and blasphemes him and speaks ill words about him. Such a so-called disciple suffers unlimitedly. But even he, rascal though he be, if he simply observes this Apara Ekadashi, can attain to the spiritual world. Such is the meritorious nature of this Ekadashi. Now how can we observe this Ekadashi? Simply try to abstain from beans and grains and try to be engaged in Krishna consciousness throughout the day, such as adherence to the process of Shravanam Kirtanam, listening about Krishna and speaking glories of Him. By doing this sincerely, we will surely become an object of Krishna's mercy. Apara Ekadashi Ki Jai Hare Krishna